Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are finally going to be showing off the Sisters Army all complete. Mm, done um, and dusted. Yeah, done and dusted finally. Uh, yeah, well, you know what, I'm just not going to say. Look, look at it. Behold <laughs> no. its glory. <laughs> so Shay, uh, you've played Sisters before. I have indeed, yeah. I've played them a good few times in a ye olde 40,000. Wow, that's not going to catch on, this 40,000 thing. That's far too long. People are going to reduce that to just a 40K, I imagine, at some point. Um, but what we have put together here could potentially mostly be used for 40K as well. How does this reflect the sort of thing you would normally play with your sisters? Well, the only thing you can't use from this army would be the bikers, because mm -hmm. they don't exist yet. But maybe, maybe, you never know. You never know. Could come in later. Uh, but it's a pretty solid list, to be honest. It's, it's actually kind of similar to what I run in real life. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. That's... <laughs> but you don't have to lie. You can lie, though, if you want. Um, so what, what would be some of the key things, if you were playing this as a 40k list, that you would sort of rely on? I mean, Celestine. Celestine yeah. is an unkillable badass. If I'm completely honest in 40k, she's amazing. The Retributors hit like tanks. Mm -hmm. The Exorcist is unbelievable. The Emulator is, can wipe squads. Is the Exorcist unbelievable? Because I run three Exorcists in my sister's force. Now, I haven't played since 7th edition, but every one of them had a hunter-killer missile attached because it gives you D6 plus one on the first shot. And I, it, it guaranteed me two, which is generally how it went for me. I would aim an exorcist at something and then aim a second and then aim a third and still fail to actually hit and do any damage at all. Do you, you rely on them? They, they work for you. They're so swingy. Um, I actually don't bring the hunter killers in ninth. You don't? They're, they're, not, they're not very good. They're it's not a, very good. Well, I was going to say it was a plus one dice or plus one to your, your dice roll. That's, when, that's the last time I used it. It was a D6 for the exorcist and a D6 plus one if you fired off a hunter killer at the same time. I relied on that plus one. I did though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well that's not how it works nowadays unfortunately no, no. no you get one shot with it that's it for the whole game you get yeah, one shot oh, yeah, no, you got one shot then as well but yeah. it's, it's really bad it's it, really it just bad. meant that on turn one I got six shots from my three exorcists as opposed to three shots from my three exorcists it's just how it broke down um, but you're going to be playing this in a game of using grim dark future for one page rules and uh, do you want the bad news um, is there any good good news? Well, the good news is you've got about 3,200 points to pick from. The bad news is you're going to be playing against the Prasonians, which is about 2,300 points, so you will not be fielding everything in front of you. Well, they look terrifying, but no, I, th no. I think my faithful sisters could give them a run for their money, I think. On first blush then, right? So I've got a couple of standard squads of uh, feudal guard. I've got three squads of five elite, sort of my light infantry. Uh, I have a battery of laser cannons. I have a massive tank. And then I've got anywhere between two and four squads of cavalry, depending on how I do it, with energy lances. What are the sort of things you will pluck from this force in front of you to counter this? There's a lot of infantry. That emulator is going to... Oh, I've got less infantry than these. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter. My emulator is still going to be able to do work. Oh, right. that's, that's fine. I mean, the exorcist has to come in to get rid of that tank. Simple as that. My beautiful tank. But what if I told you it just had some easy, gentle, soft guns on it? Not even worthwhile looking at. Don't, don't bother with this. It's still a nice model and I still want to kill it. Oh, okay. Fair mm. enough then. Come on. Um, so we are going to be playing out a live game of One Page Rules Grim Dark Future uh, on the 11th. Yes, indeed. 11th of June at midday. Uh, and you'll be able to see the Presonians take on John's... Well, actually, they're both. John's Presonians take on John's <laughs> Sisters of Eternal Mercy. Uh, you've got a couple of weeks now to trim the fat from the sisters and get it down to 2,300 points. Is there anything that you're going to keep in for novelty value? Or is there anything apart from the, the Exorcist? I mean, Celestine, because she just looks cool. Okay. I, I don't know how you... I've never played one-page rules, so... It's a, it's a fascinatingly simple little system um, with a nice, nice balance behind it. Bikes you wouldn't normally have in 40k. No, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them yeah. because I'm interested to see how they would do 
if I did have them in real life. Mm. Um, if you've been following along when we built this list, we built it off the current set of lists. There are beta lists out there for both the Battle Sisters and the Feudal Guard. Um, now, I said originally I was going to base all the lists off the original because they're balanced to each other. They have added bayonets, which gives you plus one AP um, in combat. And since these guys have massive bayonets on there, I'm thinking use those sword bayonets. So, so I might actually use the beta list for the Presonians um, simply to give a, a bit more stab at the sisters. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think, folks. If you have any comments that you want to let Shay know if you're playing Grim Dark Future already uh, and you're thinking, well, there are certain things he really should be looking at, including in there, feel free to tell him. Uh, I'll delete those comments as soon as I see them go up because I don't want them to know. But otherwise, uh, I think we're we're primed and ready uh, to get these on the battlefield and uh, play out some alternative 41st millennium Grim Dark games. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.